Now for the video you've been waiting for, angle-angle similarity proofs. All right, like we can prove triangles congruent, we can also prove triangles similar. The criteria for proving them similar, though, is a little bit less stringent than the criteria for proving them congruent. One way in which we can prove two triangles similar is to use what's called the angle-angle similarity postulate. And this says if you have two angles in one triangle congruent to two angles in a second triangle, then the two triangles are similar to each other. All right, so in order to prove two triangles similar, you need to find two pairs of congruent angles. That's it, no pairs of congruent sides. All right, so in the uh, number one, we're given that segments KM and JL are perpendicular, and they've already put a right angle there for us. And uh, segment JK is perpendicular to segment KL. Oh, and apparently I marked the first one incorrectly, so there we go. Thankfully, they've marked both of those for us here in the diagram. And we are trying to prove uh, triangle JKL. So triangle JKL is the big guy, similar to triangle JMK. Triangle JMK is that little blue one. So in other words, I need to have two angles in the big yellow triangle congruent to two angles in the little blue triangle. Well, I've already got a right angle in the big triangle and a right angle in the blue triangle. Those two guys are going to make one pair of congruent angles. I now need a second pair of angles. And in looking at the picture, angle J is shared between the blue triangle and the yellow triangle. It has to be exactly the same measure in both. So there's my two pairs of angles, making those two triangles similar. So again, I'm going to think angle-angle similarity whenever I want to prove two triangles similar to each other. All right, I'm going to go ahead now and get my thoughts that I've marked in the picture down into writing. Somewhere I want to talk about those right angles being congruent. Well, I knew those guys were right angles because of the perpendicular lines, so I'm going to start out by discussing the perpendicular lines. So side, segment KM is perpendicular to segment JL. Segment JK is perpendicular to segment KL. And I know those are true statements because they were given to us to be true statements. That makes angle J, K, L, and angle J, M, K, right angles. Because anytime I have perpendicular lines, they form right angles. And since I know all right angles are congruent, I can go ahead in my next statement and conclude that angle JKL must be congruent to angle JMK. So I've now discussed or talked about my first pair of congruent angles. In order to make these two triangles similar, I need to discuss now a pair of second congruent angles. And these are going to be a little bit more simple because I'm just going to use angle J in the blue triangle congruent to angle J in the yellow triangle. And that property that we use anytime we want to state that something or any geometric figure is congruent to itself is the reflexive property. So at this point now I've discussed two pairs of congruent angles. I know that the triangles themselves must be similar. So my conclusion is that triangle JKL is similar to triangle JMK. And that would be by the angle-angle similarity postulate. All right, so there you have it. That's pretty much all there is to it. Anytime you're trying to prove a pair of triangles similar, the postulate that you want is angle-angle similarity. So I want you to go ahead and up at the top of the next page summarize the key ideas and important understandings, what are going to be the important things you're going to have to remember from this video, and then there's a proof on that page so that you can go ahead and apply what you've learned in the video.